Merry Christmas everyone, my name is Lee Sankey and today we are continuing to talk about bringing tongue blocking techniques together that I've been covering in my last few videos. So today what we're going to start doing is we're bringing in the, the elements that I covered in the last video which was a kind of third position anchor riff with a simple scale. We're going to start making a tune out of it and this tune uh, is kind of great fun to play. It has two parts of a head one of which is pretty straightforward, which will be good for kind of beginners and intermediates. And the second part is for more um, confident and advanced players. We are using an A diatonic harmonica uh, in third position, as I just said. And what we're doing is we're tongue blocking all these notes. And there may be one note in the second part of the riff that you can lip purse, but this really is about bringing together the tongue blocking techniques and moving around with uh, confidence. So we've covered playing single notes, we've covered playing octaves, um, we've covered sort of timing. So we're really at the point where we can start bringing this together into a tune. So let me play the first part of the tune and then we'll break it down and we'll cover it in this video. Uh, and then we'll probably cover the second part in a, uh, another video. And then I'll do an improvisational in a third video just to sound, show you what it can sound like all wrapped up together. So uses the same notes with a couple of twists that we covered in the last video. So if you haven't seen that, go and watch that. And if you can play this scale, and you can do your octaves, you're ready to play this tune. So what does it sound like? First part, dead simple. Let me play it one more time. Okay, so you have that anchor rhythm. what we covered last time you can put a couple of variations and then you have the same scale that we covered in the last video but we change it at the end in terms of timing and we go up to the draw nine and back down to the eight and I think this demonstrates how you can make a small change in timing and it really massively changes the character of what you're doing so the if we break it down very simply the the actual first part of the phrase is So you're going draw four, draw five, blow six, draw six, blow seven, draw eight, draw nine, back to the eight. And then you, uh, I'll come on and talk about something, uh, another little note in there in a second. That's the core part. And when you're playing that, there are a few things to keep in mind. The first is we are talking about tongue blocking. And what you can do with tongue blocking, as we talked about before, is bringing in those tongue slaps and hitting those notes in a kind of different way with a bit more character and perhaps attack than you would do otherwise. So here, we're using this sound. So rather than going, we can go, okay, so that. You can hear that, the, the tongue slap there. The next thing is, on that draw A, on the last draw A, try and put a little bit, bit of vibrato. You hold it for a, a beat or so, and um, if you can, you can obviously use tongue, uh, vibrato, produce vibrato tongue block. So again, try and put some on that draw A to emphasize it. The next thing is there's a little passing note after that draw eight before I come back to the anchor riff. So if you listen out for it, it's the blow seven. So we've got. So that, that's 
one of these little details, again, that I've talked about before, which th makes the great players sound interesting. To try and hit that little um, blow seven on the way down, if you're able to. If not, doesn't matter. Riff still stands up, and when you get more confident, then you'll be able to confidently put it in there and draw to the land on the draw four with accuracy. The key thing is to keep your timing together and to play what you play confidently um, and you know not reach for stuff which is you're not completely ready for. I mean, you've got to push yourself, but ultimately if the playing is sloppy and all over the place, you're, you're not really going to move forward. So it's a tricky balance there between pushing yourself but moving forward with confidence. So that is the first part of this riff. And again, you know, you can use your hands, do use your hands, use the tone variation, etc. Now I think that um, this tune is very reminiscent of the, of the wonderful Bill uh, Clark, William Clark. And the second bit is even more so, and we're gonna take things up another level. But before we just move on to that, which I'll cover on another video, I'm just gonna keep this short and sweet is I just want to break down that last part of the first phrase because that's the key timing bit because essentially we're using the same notes here but we make a very different um, change at the top of that riff. So you've got the... So from that draw six... That's a great phrase. So you've got the draw six the blow seven, draw eight, draw nine, back to the draw eight. It's that timing. That is the heart of this, this particular first phrase. That's key and you can drag it and you can be behind the beat. Um, and as you'll see, we can sort of come and attack it in different ways. So that's the first part. The second part is exactly the same notes, but coming down, different timing, it sounds like this. Again. So draw right. Up to the nine, back to the eight, blow seven, draw six, blow six, draw five, draw four, blow four, draw four, draw five, draw four. Simple but sweet, and it's a kind of counterpoint to that first phrase. So you've got that. So that's the kind of core of the tune. Now on that draw six on the way down, if you're able to, because we've talked about bending, you can try and put a little bend on that uh, draw, draw six down to the blow blow six, so that and that's something we can really focus on in the next part of the riff. So I hope that's been useful, that's the start of this kind of tune that we're bringing things together and tongue blocking, a uh, brilliant way and I hope as a beginner or an intermediate player this tune will help you integrate all the things that we've talked about. Thank you very much. I'm going to upload the second part in a moment. Thank you. And Merry Christmas.